Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh mail call yesterday. Um from our good friend, the Jeff Lawless, the bearded guy. His uh shot card and his sticker. Thank you for your support, Jeff. Much appreciate, mate. So, this is Jeff's shop card. Got some awesome, awesome stuff been going on. Jeff's channel. Uh, he's just finished. I think he's just finished his one, the under one thousand group build. Um, which is a Volkswagen Bug in uh, like it's like a maroony red and cream. Very, very, very nice build. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to and Jeff, then go over to his channel, which is the bearded guy Jeff Lawless. Hit the subscribe button and uh, check out his content. Great builder. And he's got a competition that he's uh, trying to win, which is for a build of a motorbike, a one-to-one -one real life motorbike. Currently sitting in first place, I believe, from what I remember. So go over, check that out, and uh, press the button to make sure he stays in first place. Let's give the guy a treat. Okay, m moving on from that, R small request to check out some of my shelf queens behind me from Sean at the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Bit dusty, been sitting on the shelf for a while. But this is a Johan or Johan kit, John Hanley. John Hanley Kent, 1964 Cadillac, Coupe DeVille. Um, my dad originally built this kit. I built it in the 80s, I think, when it came out. I'm not 100% sure because this was given to me as a build up, so. Um, been sitting in his attic since the late 80s after he. Early nineties, the eighties, early nineties. Um, when he lost his eye, I to cancer and decided he couldn't build model cars or model kits anymore. So, put all his stuff up in the attic, out the way. So, I did a I did a re a rebuild and a repaint because uh, was engine hanging out and. And stuff like that. So uh, I finished this off in Italian red, which was the Tamiya LP color. Um, redone the interior in red, white, chrome for the f fixtures and fittings. Um. Done bare metal foil the first time on this all round all round those bits you can see where some of it's hanging over the edge. Oh okay now would have to do a rebuild again then. Done I know Cadillac engines are supposed to be blue but I uh, didn't know that at the time, so I think there's a battery missing or something from in here. Um, yeah, he had it finished in brown, um, which is one of the original colours of the car. But I didn't like the colour, so I changed it to red, more spicy. Yeah, that's... Uh, 
think I had to make one of these lights as well because one was missing, so I had to scratch build that out of uh, of a um, bit of red sprue container. Look as good. Get on there. Come on. There we go. So that's the 64 Cadillac Coupe hard top version. And then we have the exact same car but in the convertible version. Again, 64 Cadillac Eldorado Coupe de Ville. This was a total rebuilder. Uh, this was finished off, I think it was in like a metallic green um, when it was given to me. Again, we had missing tail lights, so they were made out of sprue. And paid silver, and then the yeah, clear red put over the top of them. Yeah, just about right. Um, the one thing that's still missing on this car is the final wheel hubcap for that side, which is a shame, it's the only thing that's missing. Um, I've been through the spares box that my dad gave me, and it's not in there either, so I'm not too particularly worried. <coughs> this one is, um, when it came to me, it was in... Uh, like the a, all the A pillar and the windshield and everything was all broken in pieces. It was in about four different pieces. Uh, it was broken there, there, in the middle there, up here, down here, and down here. So there, there was no no windshield at all on it. So I had to rebuild fully all that. That was that was fun. Um, and I painted it in titanium gold. Did do the engine, got the battery, and the engine's in blue. Uh, the original kit colour. Now you do that. What's in? What colour is in the box? The Johan kit. This one red. It down in there, that's not paint. That's yeah, this kind of red original. So that's a couple of shelf queens for you. Hope you like them. Thanks for watching. To all my subscribers. New and old, I appreciate you all. Thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, particularly press the like button. That would be nice. That might make my analytics go up a bit better than they are. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.